Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, I'm Attack1124 here, and today I will be telling you my thoughts on the first DLC for Call of Duty Ghosts named Onslaught. So without further ado, let's check out the trailer. So we're really excited to start this new DLC season. I think this first pack is going to be amazing. What we've done is create four small to medium maps that have a very classic Call of Duty playstyle. I'm really looking forward to the weapon DLC because it's not just a single weapon, it's actually two weapons based on the same receiver and stock. And we've got a great new Extinction experience coming that I think fans are going to really love. With DLC, we really like to have fun, uh, and that really shows in our first map, Fog. Fog is a dark, gloomy, intense map straight from a horror film. It's broken up into three different areas. We have like a tall grass area. We have even like cabins in the woods. If you really want to dominate, you can hold down the barn, get up in the upper window, and you can actually look out both sides and pick people off. If you complete a field order, you actually get to become Michael Myers. Very iconic horror film persona. You don the mask, you have the axe, the soundscape changes, everyone knows you're coming, and you're just tearing them up. Bayview is a mid-sized map. This kind of like quaint, peaceful boardwalk town. You can see these naval destroyers. And if you complete a field order, you can call in an artillery strike that decimates your enemy. Bayview's a great map and it supports all play styles. You have the high sniper points on each corner that can fire across to each other. You have your run and gun section throwing sentry guns on the trolleys. So you'll be sitting there waiting for the enemies and all of a sudden you're just getting wrecked by this sentry gun. Containment's a map down in Mexico that develops these long range kind of battles. So we have this riverbed which divides it and a bridge going over top and you actually engage across the river with snipers or ARs. But if you're a fast paced run and gunner, you can actually hop down into the riverbed and flank and there's multiple ins and outs. In containment, there's a radioactive missile. If you complete a field order, you can actually call in a mortar strike that detonates the missile and just destroys anyone in the area. So Ignition is a, a remake of Scrapyard from MW2. We wanted to bring back this fan favorite. It's a Florida-based US launch facility, so it's tied in with the single player. Ignition is kind of like a smallish to mid-sized map. It plays really tight. So if you complete the field order, you get to activate this test engine in the map that ignites and will burn any enemies that are in the area. So in DLC 1, we also have a brand new weapon. It's essentially two guns. It's highly accurate, very dependable rifle. It comes with a sniper kit, and it has a really cool, teched out sniper scope. So depending on your play style, we've got you covered there as well. We're starting this great new campaign with Extinction. Not only is it a whole new map, but it's the beginning of a whole story. The source of the outbreak located. So Extinction DLC, including the map, Point of Contact, that's on the disc, is a five-part mini-series that tells you why these aliens are here, so you'll have a better understanding of the cryptids and their backstory. Please hurry. Well, in DLC 1, we pick up where it left off after Point of Contact. The Nightfall map's a snow base up in Alaska. It's over-the-top, bombastic action. One of the new weapons you'll find is derived from scorpions that you've encountered in the game. We've got a new alien type called the Phantom, and he's pretty difficult to fight because he likes to jump a lot. As he's jumping, he becomes invisible. We also have a new cryptid called the Breeder, largest boss creature we've ever done. One of the things I think is great about Call of Duty as a franchise is really strong at supporting the community with content post-launch. This year's no different. We've got a great season of content coming. All of this will be coming January 28th. The best way to get the Onslaught Pack and all of the upcoming DLC for one great low price is with the Season Pass. So... Hopefully you all are excited for Call of Duty Ghosts Onslaught DLC. I am super pumped. Fog looks sick. Bayview looks sick. Containment looks sick. And Ignition, well, 
I mean, they brought back one of the best, if not the best, maps ever in Call of Duty. I mean, MW2 was an amazing game, and I didn't want to say this to you guys, but I will be bringing some Call of Duty MW2 to you guys really shortly on this channel. Also, the gun looks really interesting, and I cannot wait to play with it and do a nice gameplay with it for you guys once this DLC comes out. Also, all you zombie fans, or whatever they call it now, um, they're doing a whole series during all four DLCs, so I cannot wait to see that play out as well. I may even do that on this channel too, play all four episodes. I cannot wait, guys. It, oh my god, it's going to be amazing, guys. It, it really is. Um... I cannot, I, I, I can't wait um, to see what Call of Duty uh, or Infinity War um, is planning for us this year. Um, and with that, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to me, the best one, Matt Tiger 24. Now, guys, there will be an annotation at the end of this video showcasing my latest two videos. So, guys, go check that out. Um, and I actually wanted to make a, a separate video, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to say it at the end of this. Um, guys, on the last video that I put up, uh, the MTARX, my class breakdown, um, I was rendering during, uh, the time that I was at Raw Live. So if you guys, um, saw my Twitter, I actually posted it on there. So guys, go check that out if you want. All my info will be down below. But anyway, um, and I was rendering it during that time. So, um, I checked once I got home, and everything looked fine. But then I checked it over once I put it up. And it didn't render properly at the end, and guys, I didn't get to say goodbye. So I'm definitely going to go out on a bang on this one. Hopefully you guys are all excited for Onslaught. I want to know what your favorite map is. For the DLC thus far, um, down below in the comment section below, and do not forget, guys, to like, to comment, and don't forget to subscribe to your truly the best one, my Tag on Twenty Four, for more Call of Duty gameplays. And with that, thank you all for stopping by, <laughs> and guys, I'll see you on my next video.